Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Burrow Home Bar, where this week I will be making a Death & Co recipe that I didn't see from my book, but I did see from their Instagram um, post that they posted a few days ago, and I was like, oh, that sounds quite interesting. I'm going to try to attempt to make it, because they didn't give any measurements, and they also had this ingredient. I, I, I can't even remember what it what it was called but it was cherry something and I was like I have absolutely no idea what that is so instead I'm going to substitute with cherry hearing which is a cherry liqueur so I'm going to assume they're quite similar um so yeah I think it'll I think it'll work just the same so it's called the cherry bomb gimlet love a gimlet I've not had a gimlet in a very long time but this is obviously a kind of a um, miles away from a gimlet really which is just gin and lime juice I think um so yeah so it is a lime based cocktail so I think I'm at lime <laughs> gin gin based cocktail I think I might have mentioned maybe in my last video or, or something that I hadn't don't have any uh, plain gin at the moment that is still the case annoyingly I've still to buy just some regular old gin so I'm gonna use this um passion fruit and vanilla gin i just thought it would really go well with all the other flavors so we'll find out if that is actually the case so yeah passion fruit and vanilla gin as i said some cherry hearing which is just cherry liqueur some luxardo martino liqueur very potent so only a little bit of that if you've had you know last words or um avations you'll know that you don't need a lot of this in your cocktails um grapefruit juice so i'm not a massive fan of grapefruit juice if i'm going to be honest unless it's in a cocktail shock <laughs> so i didn't buy a big massive car and it'll go to waste i'd just get a tin of, of grapefruit so i'll use the, the juice from that and then some um Pecho's bitters i never know if i'm saying that pronouncing that right but i'll go with Pecho's bitters and some lime juice so that's going to make up our cherry bomb gimlet cocktail so we're going to start with our gin and I'm going to go with 40 mils of gin. Again, there was no measurements for this um, on, their, on their Instagram, so I'm just sort of going with what I think would probably work. So in with the passion fruit and vanilla gin. Then I'm going to do 20 mils of the cherry hearing. If you didn't have this, if you had any other sort of cherry liqueur, that would probably work fine. And then, as I mentioned, I'm just going to do 10 mils of the Luxardo Marantino because it's, yeah, it's very strong. I remember using this in a cocktail way back in the day when I first got it, and I was sort of just inventing things and winging it, and oh my god, <laughs> I literally put in so much, and it was just, it was awful. I couldn't even drink it, and that's, um, that's saying something for me. Um, 20 mils of grapefruit juice, so I've got the ruby, oh, Jigger would help. The ruby red grapefruit juice. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So in there. Then we're going to do just a few. Um, I can literally all I can smell is this. It's unreal. Um, just a few dashes of the peaches bitters in there, and then fifty mils of the lime juice, which I have already squeezed. So just to freshen it up a little bit. There we go, lovely, lovely. Okay, so that is everything in the shaker. I am going to now add ice and then give it a good shake. So, Death & Co, very um, seldom does a, does a bad, shall we say. It's always, they always have fantastic recipes. Um, I don't think I've ever made a Death & Co cocktail, I'll do that over there. A Death & Co cocktail where it hasn't been amazing, if I'm, if I'm honest. And I've been a few times now to the, the New York one, and yeah, the cocktails are always just on point. So I'm hoping that this will be good. Or as good as I can make it when I don't actually work there and I'm not an expert. <laughs> Okay, so this is freezing my hand. So that's everything shaken in my glass. I have just, um, I don't know why, but I just thought I would make a little line of poppy seeds, which is quite cute. And then I'll do cherry garnish as well, seeing as it is a cherry bomb gimlet. Um, okay, I'm gonna strain because of the lime juice and the grapefruit juice, there's gonna be little bits in there. So strain into your glass. Kind of a murky, Brownie orange color. That's definitely the cherry hearing that, that makes it that color. Um, other 
cocktails that I've made before with cherry hearing it's always sort of that color it turns out and then yeah just some little cherries for the top Ta-da! there we go that is my cherry bomb gimlet lovely lovely let's see how this tastes is it gonna taste as good as it looks it looks pretty good so it's a little bit foamy on the top and probably by the time I take the picture that will have disappeared but at the moment it's you know um, it's looking really really good so cheers let's have a taste don't smell as much of the um, martino liqueur now smelling it all together oh nice really sharp actually Mm. really sharp from the lime and the grapefruit I think those two together are like bringing the zest and the life to the drink almost um licorice-y I think that is the cherry hearing I'm not a massive fan of licorice it's not overpowering and it's not like oh that's definitely licorice in there it's just kind of got tones of that so potentially I would use another cherry liqueur I think so it's not giving me massive cherry vibes if that makes sense a different cherry liqueur that was maybe a little bit more fruity would potentially work better but i'm not saying it's it's bad it's still a nice drink i don't really get any of the passion fruit or vanilla from the gin which is sort of a good thing i suppose because i don't know how that would have went P passion fruit and like sardo and cherries i don't know so uh, that's nice i definitely get the grapefruit the sort of bitterness from the grapefruit as well don't really get a huge amount of the bitters again not a bad thing i only put in two little dashes because I've used that before and it's been overpowering so it's not ideal so um yeah I'm not raving about it I do like it I do I do like it um it's just probably not my wouldn't be my go-to drink if someone said in a few weeks time like what's the best drink that you've made over the last few months that probably wouldn't spring to mind but it's, it's definitely nice it's definitely drinkable drinkable <laughs> and I'd be really interested to see what their one was like um at death and co um another excuse to go to america maybe <laughs> thank you so much for joining me on the Vara home bar again for my cherry bomb gimlet and i'll catch you next time for another cocktail over at the Vara home bar cheers